I have been teaching long, long, long time, and uh, the Chinese painting I learned from a couple master when I was in Taiwan, and uh, one of the landscape uh, teacher actually taught Madame Zhang, which is the, the the president's wife that time. So the same teacher I learned it from, and of course the other teacher they specialize in birds and flower and things like that. And I do have a master degree from the U.S. Uh, in art. And uh, I do many other medium as well, but Chinese painting is one of the my very favorite medium, and it's just so wonderful. I told my student it, it is a actually it's a uh, therapy itself, and it's just so so soothing to paint it, and you can forget about everything. <laughs> I was able to take Mitzi's class, and. Uh, first time I took a class with her was when we were out of the building and it's nice to be back in the building because we can run down and take a look at the collection and there's so much to learn because each artist has its own interpretation. Speak a little bit about a piece or two that has inspired you and then walk us through some of the um, what your image what you how, how you've been inspired and what now is on your paper. Well, I had decided to do a waterfall, and it sort of got to be a very ma major waterfall. And going through the collection and seeing so many different ways that the artists have done water, some they don't paint anything and leave it just plain and do stuff around it, but you know it's a waterfall. And so many variations, so I'm trying to make this my variation in the Chinese style. Actually, I got inspiration from one, this piece from one of the collection here, right now display at your you know, galleries. And I, uh, I, I like landscaping because it always gives you free spirit, you know, with the, with the stroke. Especially in Chinese painting, I think sometimes it requires concentration and it, uh, you know, let you forget about everything else when you try to concentrate on one piece that you try to work on, yeah.